Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so we have got a new update for the both the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 3. So the current version has been moved to the 4.1.3 and previously uh, it was 4.1.1. Now there were some rumors going on yesterday like uh, some 4.1.2 version has been released. So I checked the forum, a couple of the lucky guys have got that otherwise uh, most of them are not. I, even I tried that, I did not got it. So a few things you will notice here. First off, uh, you can see the security patch table is still the March 1. So has it been changed and still we have not got the 7.1.2. So it's been quite, I guess, more than a month now. 7.1.2 has been out. So looks like company is doing some internal testing and fixes. Now it's time to check out the changes here. So let's get started and talk about the changes. Well, practically there is no change at all. So I'm really surprising guys. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's a mistake with the OnePlus or uh, there hasn't been any change so you can see right side i have the change log for the oneplus uh, 3 uh, for the 4.1.3 and here again i'm showing the same for the 4.1.1 so if you guys know 3 and 3t both are getting the same update everything is same exactly there is nothing much change not a single percent in except the open beta and official so as you can see so uh, if i just show you the what is the difference exactly so there is only one change uh, increased system stability that has been added here nothing more everything is exactly same and you're not going to get any further change so i was just uh, checking out the forums actually i came to know about this update in the daytime itself but i was just figuring out what has been changed i kept my 3t on the open beta and i thought to update 3 and just to give you guys a couple of comparison difference what is going to happen between the 3t and uh, the open beta and the official but there hasn't been any change so guys if you can see here uh, this is the open beta change log so there are so much things has been added so parallelly uh, first change happened to the open beta then the company tried to move the most of the changes to the official builds that's what is going on from so many builds but as you can see for the open beta there are tons of changes uh, you can see the EIS optimization touch latency and uh, notification denoising and some do not disturb mode I mean pretty much so much things are got added even the quick pay option was there redesign app drawer now let's talk about the uh, if you talk about the app drawer so even the beta builds are now coming with the latest oxygen os launcher to the door, which is something sort of pixel launcher you can see it has the same here so i have installed on the both devices so you can install it using the apk in case you wanted to there's a detailed video how to install it and if you want to uninstall it simply you have to go to the app section and search for the oneplus launcher so i thought to mention here because so many people are inquiring how you can uninstall it so you should be seeing here a oneplus launcher option so simply go and install from there you can easily uninstall it so even this things hasn't came here so now the question is whether you should update it or not definitely you should update it because the company has pushed something so uh, there should be some internal fixes might be some improvement so we'll check out the benchmarking score let's go and see some of the antero score here so i just ran it and to do here on the 3t i got the score of the 153k uh, on the on the OnePlus 3, I had 147k, and let's try out the same for the Geek Benchmark. And here's the Geek Benchmark test scores. And uh, multi core is pretty much great 4223 here compared to the OnePlus 3, 3962. And we had the 1732 versus 191. Now, guys, this is about the things that I wanted to show you here. I'm really sorry, guys, there is nothing much to show you here. Now, how you can install it, you can connect to the Opera VPN and connect to the canada and the germany in case opera vpn is not working for you you can use the turbo vpn i verified on the oneplus uh, forum so many people are uh, got this problems for them turbo vpn is working so check out the canada and the germany in case you have the computer setup you can simply download the complete rom i'll put the link from where you can download it and flash it using adb sideload so i have done using the adb sideload on oneplus 3t i have done with the adb sideload on oneplus 3 i have used the uh, OTA that is the Opera VPN method now guys let's check out some of the previous benchmarking score and compare the same score uh, with our, our current builds a quick comparison between the open beta builds and the current 4.1.3 because we are about to running in the parallel so I was expecting the same 4.1.3 to be you know all the features on the open beta 4 and the 13 should come to the 4.1.3 but they hasn't came so I'm not showing you guys the previous so oxygenous builds because they're pretty much similar but yeah uh, as of now i'm using it the performance is really great so just compare the 3t uh, open beta was and three open beta was to the current one and if you want to switch to over to open beta you can definitely use the adb side root method so open beta builds are pretty great as of now so just uh, take a look on this thing and make sure to watch the previous open beta 13 afford videos so these are all guys the benchmarking scores that we have right now so guys there it is uh, the latest update for the oxygen s 4.1.1 
just go ahead and install it and thank you so much for watching guys i will catch you in the next video very soon have a great day